Hi, it's me. Hi, it's me and I am alive and today I was thinking we can uh, answer a question. How do I make my plants look so lush? So every time I post a collection video, uh, many of you ask me about how I make my plants look so lush. So if we take a look about this part of my living room you can discover that winter has been noticed here and uh, you've been noticed that there is missing some plants over here and I will show you what I do so what I do is uh, it's practically or basically very very simple I shower my plants what I use is a natural soap uh, mixing with a little bit of water and I simply spray my plants under and over just like that and uh, after that I uh, let it sit for I don't know one to three minutes and uh, I shower my plants and this is what we gonna do today plant by plant and we will see the results later then So, as you can see, I'm flushing uh, the soil, so all the minerals and salts are flushed out. So this is basically it. Uh, this is what I do. In my opinion, it helps a lot with the plant looking fresh and lush. Also, you know, all the dust and... Uh, maybe some insects if there are some are flushed out or maybe killed in the process but this is this is what i do it's very very simple very nice you know i'm guessing or hoping <laughs> that this uh, will give the plants the same feeling as we get when we are out of shower and the next are my Dracaena and my Black Zizi Raven and Philodendron Subhastrum. Sub Subhastrum. <laughs> oh, I never can say the name. Ah, Philodendron Subhastrum. So the same thing happened here. Or will happen here. Just spray it with the soap, natural soap nothing harsh spray it spray it spray it and I don't have real uh, measurements I just you know I don't know maybe two three tablespoons and this is like 600 milliliters bottle of water so and when they spray and I will just flush them with lukewarm water after I uh, flushed my babies, I let it them be here for maybe five ten minutes to all let it, all the water drip down and off, and then I put all my babies on the side because I really wanna make it fresh. 
So I will clean this mess over here and look, look, look who's here. Uh, this is my philodendron. <laughs> so I let it grow because I want to see how long and where it will grow. So I let it be. So next one will be my pilea. I use the same uh, solution to wash my windowsill. Just spray it because it's very gentle. It's not harmful. So, you know, just getting in and I would be doing this more often, I see, because we are living in the area where uh, it's kind of, I don't know, windy and all the dirt when windows are open are coming in. You can see uh, over there we have uh, seeds <laughs> from trees. So, yeah. So it's it's uh, very windy here, so all the dirt is coming in. This is why I have to take my flowers to the shower to make it fresh and nice and wash the windowsill so it will be nice and fresh. Yes, it's amazing. Oh. So what happened to my uh, Tomatopilum xandu? And uh, yes, I'm saying Tomatopilum because Philodendron changed the name and it's now Tomatopilum. So this is the bushy xandu, but as you can see, winter had its go on it. So I rejuvenate my baby and leave the three new growth of each uh, of each one so which is fresh and nice and I'm sure this will take on because the days are longer and flowers plants start to grow so I did it last year too and this is the all summer growth so also I love the trunk on it and this is uh, mainly why oh no 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 what did I do now like this so so mainly this is why I cut the old leaves on because I want the trunk to grow quicker uh, and just have a crown so we will see. I'm pretty sure this will do as perfect as last year. Also, I cleaned the windows, so I don't know if you can see the difference between this pretty nice green grass and this <laughs> grayish green grass. Oh, also, while I'm doing all this, I'm listening to Rachel. Gardening at Venza, check her channel out and uh, I will be keep cleaning. So as you can see, I managed to clean my windows and clean windows let more light into your plants. And look at this. This is my little mess and I will be messing around with putting this baby's back on the windowsill we will see the results in a second and this is the beautiful clean lush result <laughs> it took some hour but it looks beautiful all plants are fresh looks nice And the 
easy plant raven is getting nice and green the new growth is always very lush and green and then it darkens up to be really nice and dark and I have one two three growth and this wonky ponky pilea I want to leave it like that because I want to see how wonky it will get I'm very very excited for that and I turn my tomatopilum xandu towards the apartment so it will itself turn to the light again and the last thing I have to do is hang my pots over there but overall we are basically done and uh, thank you so so much for watching and I see you next time Bye!